Here comes the sun as Rhode Island searches for sources of alternative energy. With traditional avenues like oil and natural gas becoming increasingly expensive, solar energy is becoming a sexier option for those looking to warm their homes and businesses. One researcher hoping to harness the power of sunlight, Roger Williams University student Joe Favall. Minimizing our carbon footprint is something that Americans across the nation are concerned about. And with the help of Roger Williams University engineering students, businesses will be able to reduce their footprint. Students on campus are working to create window blinds that convert sunlight into energy. Tall buildings, especially in cities, will be able to use this energy to light and heat their offices. At the School of Engineering, Audrea Uplake works tirelessly between classes. Since graduate school, she has studied gamma ray bursts. A gamma ray burst lights up the entire sky, which makes her able to study far off galaxies that have never been seen before. Not long ago, she held the record for studying the farthest item in space. Now, as a first time professor at Roger Williams University, she is proving to be one of the brightest. The planet is dying and local scientists have turned to forms of alternative energy. Wind turbines are a solution, but do their benefits outweigh their cons? Roger Williams University fitness fanatics are taking a break from the gym and heading over to the Intercultural Center for a night of Zen meditation. Here, students take a break from their stressful studies and find a new way of finding balance, awareness, and peace in their lives. Across the nation, work is being done to help improve the sustainability of the environment. Local Rhode Island School, Roger Williams University, is doing its part in teaching its students and the public on sustainability. At first, sustainability studies was offered as a minor at the school but now it has been approved to be taught as a core concentration. Engineering professor Charles Thomas discusses what senior projects are being done in the engineering department that will help promote sustainability. Meditation has long been associated with enhancing health in the human body. Since the dawn of time, humans have engaged in this practice in order to create a state of peace in which to reflect over the trials of everyday life. And every Tuesday evening at the Intercultural Center at Roger Williams University, RWU community members meet to engage in this ancient practice. The zebrafish may be thought of as just another sea creature, but now it can benefit humans. At Roger Williams University, Associate Professor of Biology Carrie Warren and her students discovered the cadmium-induced arrhythmia in zebrafish. Warren and her students are interested in this fish because they want to use it to study craniofacial development irregularities such as the cliff palette. Are you angry at wind turbines that protrude through the skyline? Do you think wind turbines require more energy than they produce? Wind turbines may have their faults, but there is no way to get past their benefits. With gas prices on the rise, it is time to take a closer look at alternative energy. With receding non-renewable resource reserves, many Americans look to clean energy as the solution. This trend has caused scientists and students from all over the nation to look for efficient alternatives to oil and natural gas. With many options available, Joe Favall, a chemistry student from Roger Williams University, looks to the sun for his answer. Two new physics professors at Roger Williams University are taking the campus where it has never gone before. Professor Audrea Updike researches gamma ray bursts in space. She is ready to use this research to spark an interest among students. Mice are a popular test subject in biomedical experiments, but for one Roger Williams University professor, Carrie Warren, she chooses to use zebrafish. Their transparent body and eggs allow Warren to observe the growth of genetic mutations from birth. Zebrafish may contain the answers to human brain development and carrying diseases. Are you concerned for our planet? And are you sick of the high cost of gas? It is time to use alternative forms of energy. Wind turbines may be the answer to these costly problems. Scientists in Rhode Island look at how wind power can improve the environment and fill our empty pockets. RJ Schofield here at Roger Williams University, where the new developments in the physics department are no minor matter. Headed up by a university professor with a background in gamma ray research, the school is planning to develop a highly anticipated physics minor. The program comes hot on the heels of a high demand from the student body. Roger Williams University is training the next generation of environmentally conscious engineers. For the past two semesters, senior engineering students have been working on their final sustainability design project, the aim of which is to reduce the carbon footprint of large buildings such as skyscrapers. The design is nearing completion and soon students hope to be testing the final product. 
For more on this story, we go to Team Cronkite. Did you know that studying zebrafish can lead to medical breakthroughs in humans? Dr. Kerry Warren of Roger Williams University and her students use the fish to study cranial facial development issues in humans, including cleft palate. Warren started her research working at Mass General Hospital in Boston, but finds teaching more rewarding. For more on the story, let's take a look. I'm standing here just outside the Intercultural Center at Roger Williams University, where students gather tonight to practice an ancient form of relaxation. Zen meditation, which is being put on by the Simply Wellness Office, provides instruction while also helping students de-stress after a long day of classes. 